G'day guys, it's Dry here, and to on today's video, whoop, almost fell off my chair. We, as you can tell by the title, this is part of the series A Noob Tries Blank, and today I'm gonna be trying to do some crafting today. I'm gonna try and make a dream catcher with glitter fabric feathers. So this is what it's supposed to look like. All the stuff is in the back with instructions. We're gonna see how well we do it. So first, let's just open it up. So all of it is, we get, oh god, all, there's so many bits to it. Okay, so remember this is what it's supposed to look like. So we got the feathers right here, that's the glitter side. We got bougie We got some more fancy stuff that I probably, and we have the ring. And we also have the instructions, of course. So, this is going to go well. There isn't very m much instructions. I think it's more of a, just have fun with it type of thing. But like, eh, don't know how this is going to work. So it says you'll need scissors. Alright, I need scissors. I'll get that in a minute. It says take, so attaching the dolly. This is a dolly, in case you didn't know. Attach the thin cord and tie it in a knot on the metal ring. Um, so this is the thin cord I'm assuming and tie it in a knot on the metal ring. So I'm going to take the metal ring off my head in a second. But Coachella, how are ya? We don't have Coachella here, but you know. So yeah, this is really long, but for now, um, yeah, I have to do this one because none of the rest of them are cords. Oh god, this looks really complex. So I'm going to tie it into a knot on the metal ring. So I'm just going to do a quick little knot. So I just did a quick little baby knot. Leave the towel about 20 centimeters. But unless you will use the towel to hang the dream catcher. There are 16 points on the edge of the dolly. Yeah, use your finger to loosen a thread into a smaller loop on each of the points. Um, what? I'm kind of confused, I'm just going to stretch it so it's nice and bendy. Side a bead, what? Side a bead onto a long end of the cord you have to tie to the metal ring. I'm already confused. Okay. So I think what this wants us to do is put this in the middle and then this like goes from the dolly down like that. Hmm. But I need scissors. So, and that is not 20. Oh god. I did not leave enough on here. Okay, so what I might do is I'll just cut like here. So we still have all of that left. Actually, no, that should be fine. Okay, I need to grab scissors, and then I'll change the view, so we can, you guys can see better. So we accomplished one thing in my life. I'm just going to cut about here, 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 sure, we're going to cut about here. So that's, that part we don't need to worry about. We need to worry about this dolly. So again, I have all of the string here. So... This is really confusing. Because what it looks like to me, I don't have a clue. Oh, hold on. Is it talking about this teeny tiny little hole here? Is where I need to thread it through? Oh god. Where'd it go now? They're so tiny. So there's 16 points you so I'll use your fingers to loosen the thread. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Okay, slide a bead onto the long end of the cord. You've tied to the metal ring. Huh? Take. I am already so confused. 
Okay, hold on. Take this cord and pass it through the small loop on one of the dolly points. Okay. You take this cord and pass it through. Pull the cord through the loop and wrap it around, going from the front to the back. Back and the mirroring, add another bead and pass it through. Okay, so I think I kind of get the gist of this. Um, I really don't at the same time. If I don't really get it, I'm just not going to add the beads, but I think from what this is trying to tell me is that add you add bead onto one side I'm going to try the side that I didn't cut I don't think I was supposed to cut it? Leave the top out to- uh, I wasn't supposed to cut it that's cool. That's fine. That is what is happening now. This is why I don't do DIYs. I cannot do DIYs, even if I have instructions. So imagine me trying to make up one. Oh god, okay, hold on. Someone needs to make like a DIY kit for like beginners where it's like, put paint in here, done. Okay, so I have. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So, slide a bead onto the long end of the cord you tied to the metal ring. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. We didn't see that. Just might be a little short, but that's fine. I'm just gonna. Uh, get, I'll get this a little bit more. Length. So I did a quick little knot. Um, slide it into the long end cord. You're tied to the metal ring. Yep. Yeah. Take this cord and pass it through the small loop. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I already know this is going to be a mistake, but I'm wrapping it around my hand. Just because it's so long. So we gotta slide this part through here. If I can do it. Okay, hold on. This is, oh my god, this is not going well. There we go, okay. So we slide it through there. And then it gets caught halfway. Why? What are you caught on? You're caught on yourself. Oh yeah. Okay, so we slid the dolly on. This cord passes through a small dolly going back to the f what? What? I'm confused. Back to front. Pull the cord through the loop and wrap it around the middle end going from the f back to the front. Pull the cord back under the middle ring. And then add it. Okay. So I think it's just like this. And then we add another bead and we just keep going round and round. Let's, I guess, be run this. Uh. Hello, everybody. We are back from that little time lapse moment. Pro tip: if it frays, your little string and give a lighter. Just light it up. Be careful of the fumes though, because they stink. So I'm just gonna put on the final bead. Once that is not burning hot. So, putting on the final bead. I'm just gonna wrap it around the metal ring once some more. I don't really know how this ties it off, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh my god. It looks like this. It looks horrible. Nothing like the picture on the container box thing. But as to be expected from this. It's just, we're learning new things. We're all about having fun. Okay. 
So I'm going to actually cut the rest of that off. I'm just going to quickly tie a big old knot so then these two can hold together. I mean, it's not too bad. It's a little lopsided. Let's see if I can maybe move it around a little bit. I mean, you can definitely tell, like, that bottom part is really bad compared to like, the top. But, I mean, it's there. So, what is next? Um, you, so, measuring the trim. You have the following kinds of trim in your kit. There's a thick cotton lace, which is this. The thick nylon lace. That. The wavy ribbon or the rick wrap. And the tassel ribbon, which is this. And the sequins ribbon. So measure and cut each ribbon into a length of 80 centimeters. There may be some excess that will not be required. I'm gonna do not 80 centimeters. I'm just gonna do my own thing. So I'm gonna see. Let's do this one because this one's already in my hand. Because 80 centimeters is quite long. Um, and I don't really know where I'm gonna put this. So for reference, that's the top, which kind of sucks because I wish this was the bottom, so I could kind of cover that, so it'd be more like that. That's. I wonder if. Hold on. More risky moves. Okay. To so where the tie up was. We're still gonna make that the bottom. I'm just gonna do an extra little tie. Boop. So we're gonna make this the bottom half down here. So from what this tells me is you fold each piece of trim in half, wrap the folded end round the metal ring, passing the two loose ends through the loop. Each ribbon will leave two hanging tails tails. Arrange the ribbons in similar symmetric order. Huh? You need a close-up picture. I don't know. So from what it looks like, it just looks like this to me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure they're the same length and give it a nice little cut. So I'm just gonna fix this a bit because it's a little folded. As you can see, here compared to here is very different. So we're just going to unfold it a little bit. How's it staying on? Okay, note to self, next time make... Oh, uh, maybe, hold on. So I'm just going to do it like that, just tie a little knot. And have it hang. It's gonna be like that. Okay, cute. Not horrible. So now I'm just gonna work on that, I guess, for a bit. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do like different lengths. I need to tie this up a bit. So I need that. So again, I'm just going to do this one a little bit shorter. But I'm going to do one of the edges. I can do it. Yeah, a tiny bit longer. So then, when I loop it through, for example. Hey guys, so... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's backwards. Hold on. <laughs> Rotate. Da, da, da. It is done, so I'm just going to quickly hang it up for you guys to see the final product. So that's what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got all like the lace, which I love lace. we got some golden feathers scattered about. we got the curly ribbon. we got the this ribbon. And then I've used the rest of the lace as the actual like holder. But yes, that's what it looks like. I mean, my desk is a mess now. 
And compared to the photo, it yeah, it looks very different. They have a lot more, and they have like the sequins and all that. But I'm not a huge sequins gal. After many years of wearing sequins, you tend to hate it. I'm just gonna get down with it. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think this was like the first accomplish we've had in the series, which is cool. Um, we'll see. So I don't know if this is the second or third installment in the series, but this is a noob trying to DIY a fairy. What's it called? A dream catcher. I was gonna say fairy catcher. A dream catcher. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I ain't no lore DIY. I ain't no other DIY people. I only know the DIY queen. So yeah. <laughs> Again, this is just for fun and me trying something new. Anyway. Out, see you guys in the next video. Whoops, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next failed video of this in the series. Maybe. I don't know. You guys are going to have to look. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I mean, it's not a horrible story in my life. <laughs>